Hi, welcome to another unboxing video. Uh, I just got my copy of Margraves of Valeria in the mail today. So let's just open it up and see what kind of good stuff we've got inside. Oh, very, very well packed. <laughs> rid of the these side things very nice of him to pack it uh, with the side thing is because it usually gets the corners that will be the first thing that gets scruffed up oh it looks like there's some uh, promo cards at the top as well. Doing it very lightly so I don't accidentally tear the box open. Okay, let's see what we got in terms of promos. Uh, we've got the... Oh, it's for Card Kingdoms of Valeria. Uh, Card Kingdoms of Valeria. Good. I haven't played that in a long time. Lost me with that out. Or the solo variant. So I guess I'll be taking this boy for a solo playthrough very soon. Oh, come on. Don't, don't spoil my cover. Okay. Why? Because I want to preserve uh, the top of the box. So yeah, so here we go. Uh, Margraves of Valeria. Little sticker there. This is Kickstarter edition. Includes bonus cards, uh, bonus packs for uh, dragons, civilians, monsters, and starter. Okay. Let's do how we always do our box openings from now onwards. Just going to cut open the bottom. This prevents, um, I mean, it seals the top well so that the top the box doesn't get mold. And if I were to resell the game, um, you know, it'll be of a better quality uh, then as well. Okay. So let's see what we've got in here. Margraves of Valeria. And this way, hey, it preserves the little Kickstarter sticker. Okay, we've got the starter pack. Rule book. Nice rules, a little component, how the map set up. Uh, preparing the player boards, moving. I, I have no idea how to play this game, so I guess this will be my bedtime reading tonight, along with sleeving the cards. Uh, no insert though, that's sad. So everything will just be blah, thrown back into the box. Okay, so we've got uh, player colors, I guess, buildings, workers. Look like magic. Five different player colors, and this is probably the start marker. A starting player marker. Villager pack. The dragons pack. Oh, score sheet. But oh, it's quite strange that right? now you have to give each player an individual score pack. Uh, I wish there was a combined one. Like one with all five players, like this is a bit okay, like, I guess. Uh, probably won't play through, but you no. Know, oh well, I'll look at maybe laminating one of this so that we can uh, use a dry marker sheet for everything else. Monster pack, whole lot of baggies. So it looks like the cards will all be baggied up. A pack of gems. Uh, let's take a look at the cards. Hmm. 
not 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 really a lot, so easy to sleeve, I guess. Hey, ah, there we go. Okay. Missing out the tap to open the cards. The artwork's very nice. It's the same artwork the the same person that did the previous games, the Mika. I have no idea what all these mean, but you know, it's time if I were to guess, uh Monster, what well, you need to kill the monster, your reward, I guess. Yep. And these are probably people that you hire? I don't know. One more pack to open. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. I like, I really, really like his artwork. There's one thing to throw, the little styrofoams. This looks like the resource board to put in the middle of this. With all. Yep, this looks like the little resource board that goes in the middle. So we have to fill up a row or a column to get the reward. And this is probably if your this marker is about here, then you get two points or something like that. Okay. And this looks like the main board. Yep, it is. Uh, is it double sided though? Nope, it's not double sided, but at least it's very nice. Uh, oh, it's nice. It's nice and uh, long, the way you can see. It's long, so you know it takes up slightly less table space and a big square board. But of course, you got the main uh, board as well. What's this? Surprised there are no counters. Huh? Interesting. Okay, I spoke too soon. <laughs> there we go. Uh, this is probably how you should keep the game at the end. Oh, so don't throw these away. And then, oh, don't throw these away either. So these will help you to... Interesting, interesting. But I wonder how that works when it's all steeped up. Right, let's just take a look at the board here. I'll probably punch these out before I uh, put them all back. But yeah, so this is probably a player board. I wonder if you have different player abilities. I don't know, maybe in the cards, I guess. So probably spaces for your buildings. Uh, your military strength, I guess. Okay. Let's just take a quick look to see if there's anything else underneath that I should be aware of. Nope. So it looks like each of the five uh, colors have their own board. Yep. And then uh, gold. As usual, I don't know whether I still have an extra box for that. But these look like things that you assemble. So that's neat. Okay. So that's... Margraves of Valeria. I'll probably do a solo playthrough this weekend and then I'll post the um the video on as well. Alright, until then. Thanks for watching. This is an unboxing of Margraves of Valeria.